The overview of the week for this Sunday is the first book of the New Testament, the Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew, also known as Levi, was originally a tax collector before he was called by Christ to be one of his disciples. Later on, he was chosen out of that larger group of disciples to be one of the 12 apostles. Of course, the word apostle means one who is sent. So the 12 were like official representatives that Jesus gave them authority to speak in his name. Matthew is one of the synoptic gospels along with Mark and Luke. And they're called that because they give a synopsis, an overview of Christ's ministry, whereas John has a more narrow focus, and we'll talk about that when we get to his book. Matthew wrote around 50 AD, and the theme of his gospel is Christ the King. Christ the King. Matthew begins in chapter one by giving Christ's genealogy through his father or stepfather, Joseph. The genealogy goes all the way back to Abraham, which is one indication that Matthew's gospel is directed more towards a Jewish audience. He portrays Jesus as the son of David, the messianic king from his birth, which he covers in chapter one, highlighting the fact that Jesus was born of a virgin. In chapter two, when the wise men come to visit, they give Jesus not only gifts fitting for a king, they fall down and bow before the Christ child in an act of worship, Matthew records. The most well-known section of his gospel, I think, has to be chapters five through seven, which cover the Sermon on the Mount, the most famous sermon ever preached. The gospel uh, is heavy on Jewish references. The Old Testament is quoted over 60 times. Another thing that is unique to Matthew is his inclusion of Jesus issuing a scathing rebuke of the religious leaders of his day, the scribes and the Pharisees, who had corrupted the faith. Uh, I don't know how else to say it except that he just roasts the religious leaders in chapter 23. So in conclusion, while there's so much more that could be said, this gospel ends with Jesus giving the Great Commission which Christians from the earliest days, we have recognized that this is the mission of the church. It closes in chapter 28 with these words. Jesus said, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. So go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen.